Why, hello there. My name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman, a Telltale series. We got Billy. I guess we're gonna go say hi to him. What is... Oh, there's a cabinet in my butt. <laughs> Apparently. I mean, I'm like, probably being watched. What kind of, what kind of cabinet is this? Oh, okay. It's a really big key. Knock on the nurse's station? I was gonna talk to Billy, but something else came up. I'll talk to him in a sec. <laughs> Hello? Hey, uh, I was wondering about- It's not lunch yet. Oh. <sighs> well, actually, I it's wasn't- It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Okay. Why do you leave that open? That should be closed. <laughs> Doctor says that's against the rules. What's against the rules? I know the key isn't for this door. There's no way this key is for this door. What, what does it say? Use key, open, look through. I can't open it. Anyway, let's talk to Billy. <laughs> Seriously, he just looks tired. Not a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just mind just knives. Off, all right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Okay. All right. Sorry, Billy. Victor Zazaz. Mm hmm. Oh, that's just nasty. <laughs> All right. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your I just got here. To stay on top. I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, what's so with your scars? Deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life so he just kills people <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband this guy wanted to kill himself but didn't have the courage i don't think that voice All matches that face that i freed from their earthly woes okay yeah that's enough thanks hey there buddy boy you missed me? I missed you. Oh, okay, he got the remote. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, uh. and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? No. Every time he cheats, sees what I'm thinking. Mind control, cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. <laughs> that voice is familiar too. I don't know. Hi, orderly. Gift key. It probably doesn't go to anything. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Yeah, you do. Okay, can I talk to him? I don't think I want to. Arnold Wesker. Arnold Wesker. Hello. <laughs> Hi! Go! <laughs> Arnold's busy. I swear. If you bother him, I will gut you. Um, I like the puppet trick. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm afraid he's gonna he's gonna gut me. <laughs> what can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. <laughs> Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not hmm. even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. Yeah, <laughs> he just he just freak walked freak in. There would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. Huh.
Can I? I can't go towards uh, blue. Oh, there's blue, but nothing to talk about, apparently. Alright, well, can I talk to him about the key? Now what? <laughs> Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Not this again. Wait, not this again? Not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. All right. Um, uh, sure. I'm going to talk about the puppet. <laughs> nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you. I figured. You take it wrong. So unless you have something important to say, get lost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. <gasps> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry. Right, don't totally worry. true. Fine, fine. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Then why are you here? <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, let's turn my back on him. That's fine. Chair? Chest. No, it doesn't fit that. Oh. <laughs> I meant to hit the other one. I, I see the reticle change, and then I just I just get excited. <laughs> like a dog with a bone. Oh! It works! No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work there. Of course it doesn't. Well, I'll go talk to him. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> Your key didn't work. Of course not. That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My what? Enforcement squad has I wasn't planning on getting out. Success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. How, how, who this gave the name Lady Arkham? Dogs. Like, they never said that. On our rampage versus I mean, she said it to me, but... I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Well, I mean, technically, wasn't she here? There's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter hmm. Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Yeah. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to <laughs> find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly uh, and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Maybe. <laughs> well, that all depends on you. <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> if information is good. We'll see. I knew I liked you. He will remember that. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. 
When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you've enjoyed it. <laughs> He's already got some scruff. Dragged you off of him, that cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Mm. Don't be ashamed. I mean, it's yeah. Bad. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. <laughs> it's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Dang. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate <laughs> to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I Unfortunately. Knew I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls. And now, you're on <laughs> now we're going to die. <laughs> and die. And die. Fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. Do you? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but but I'm not gonna do anything I can't. while you're <laughs> stuck in here. So I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce <laughs> Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. <laughs> I can't trust him. I can't. There's no way. <laughs> well, sure, but there's no phone. Yeah, 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 phone. Take care of that. Scooch. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? What's the favor? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But uh... a favor between friends. Sure. One favor that seems fair. Excellent. Crap. Well, <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna make a How many I'm teeth gonna does he have? That gate. He's got like five extra teeth. <laughs> you make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Saz. What the hell do you want? Saz. What happens if you make a tally mark before? Or you kill someone. What are you talking about? Uh. No. No, 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 I don't match anymore. Oh god, I don't match. I don't match anymore. Right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning. Need to. Uh oh. Oh no. Run, dude. Just run. Stop. Someone get me a sedative. You were in the area where the meds are. <laughs> Stop the fighting, use the phone. Stop the fighting, use the phone. What? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't. God, now I'm on his shit list. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Everything is bad. <laughs> Ugh. He straight up punched me. A serious house. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Oh, finger and bitten off. John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. 
John, he's the one that started the whole thing. <laughs> I can't win with this. Dr. Land will remember John that. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. <laughs> you have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard. Oh. I saved a life. I don't care. I saved a life. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. What? The superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Oh, Alfred, thank Seems you. you have a visitor. It's not safe for you to be here at my cell. You're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't It's only be been a day. Time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm not saying I'm I don't need help. Out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. <laughs> Plus, it's just safer for you, Doctor. Um, thanks. I don't know what you did, but thanks. <laughs> Ask the fails. Ask her parents. Isn't she, aren't they dead? Aren't, aren't they dead? <laughs> I thought that's what we said earlier. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all yeah. while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Very good. <laughs> Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus. Gotham has become that much more dangerous, and the public. I've only been gone for a Bruce day. Wayne. Well, it uh, certainly hasn't gotten any better. Uh, so many people angry at me, entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Oop. I heard you got out. Still crazy. You know, Still Carl's crazy. Keeping in touch from wherever she is now. <sighs> yep, still crazy. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Glad to go home. I bet. Saw what happened with Oz, just wanted to make sure you were okay. And I hear Harv is out for blood. Sounds like he wants you dead. <sighs> Thanks for checking in. Just don't get hurt. Harv's dangerous. Yeah, he is. You're a good man, Bruce. Thanks, Selena. You should know that. T talk to you later. <laughs> tile. To tile. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Uh huh. We'll figure that out eventually. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, well, that can be arranged. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack. People yeah. are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Thanks for throwing me under the bus uh, again. You traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. But you're becoming one of those assholes. Godfrey, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. Why do I have my phone behind my ear? Interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. 
She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. <laughs> Do not lecture me about Selena. Uh oh. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce. We're done talking. Why would you yell at my my two second silence? Yes. What's going on here? Is that his death squad? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn right, so you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Cool. That'll go well with everyone that isn't me. Get back to your car. Ugh. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac. The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I'm tired. I'm hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again. <laughs> You're being job. filmed, hon. Shut up, Alfred. I can handle this. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Well, they should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? Hell no! They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this. Ram the bar barricade. The problem, not us. Uh. Bruce, hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and make sure they stay there for the rest of the year. No, it's fuck off. <laughs> sure, that'll work. Uh. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Making me do bad situation either way. I mean, technically I could probably talk him down if I wasn't drugged <laughs> and had a clearer mind. Huh? Oh, oh geez. Just get us home, Al. Fast. All right. We're home. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I don't know how far I went over, but the story is just so darn interesting. So thank you very much for joining me. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Share, subscribe, and socialize, and all the other fun stuff in the YouTubes down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my perfect face is out of here. Bye!